Today I'm going to be doing a frequency response test on the old Hitachi SR3400 receiver that I'm in the process of getting ready. As you can see I've got my audio generator hooked up to put out a sine wave at 1000 Hertz and right now I have the audio generator turned on but I have the output turned all the way down and the signal from the audio generator is actually being fit into the aux jacks of the receiver. My 8 ohm dummy load is hooked up and uh, the dummy load of course is hooked up to the receiver to the speaker outputs and I already have my oscilloscope probes across the wires, the speaker wires going to the dummy load to make my measurements. I'm going to be doing one channel at a time. So I've only got, I'm only going to display one trace. As you can see there's no action yet. Here you can see I've got everything in the neutral position, bass, treble, balance. There, this is a pretty simple, simple unit. This Hitachi, there's no loudness or filters or anything like that. The next thing I'm going to do is turn up the volume all the way. I, of course, I still have my generator output turned all the way down. And here's a little chart I made. It's gone from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Those are the test frequencies I'm going to feed in. And here's going to be my response in DB and the zero here is going to be my basically my baseline that I'm starting out with and the first thing I'm going to do is feed in a feed in that 1000 Hertz signal that's going to be my first measurement now I'm going to turn up the audio generator I guess everybody does it a little bit differently what I'm going to do is turn it up until it starts clipping and then I'm going to drop the signal level down to about 70% of that, and that's what I'm going to use as my reference. It's already starting to clip right there. I'm just going to go ahead and take 70% of that. i got to do the math first. So this is my baseline. It's a 1000 hertz sine wave. And as I said, I've got the receiver amplifier turned all the way up and I turned up the audio generator until it started clipping and then I'm taking about 70% of that which is around 18 volts peak to peak so this is actually my first measurement and here's the actual output at about 20 Hertz it's actually staying the same height and that bottom trace, that's a trace coming out of my signal generator. I removed one of the oscilloscope probes from across the dummy load and I'm putting it across the signal generator because whenever I change the frequency now on the audio generator, I gotta make sure that the audio generator is putting out the, has the same output level, that it doesn't change because that's gonna throw everything off. So my next test is gonna be done at 50 Hertz and seems like the response is still flat the voltage here hasn't lessened at all now I'm up to 100 Hertz and there's been as far as I can tell no change and here is 500 Hertz no as far as I can tell no change here either either at my output across the dummy load nor from my signal generator so at 5000 hertz I'm still at about 18 volts peak to peak and the output from my audio generator is staying pretty steady too. At 10,000 hertz I'm still getting about 18 volts peak to peak and at 20,000 hertz I'm still getting about 18 volts peak to peak. And for good measure this is 100,000 hertz and my voltage here has dropped down to 
under 5 volts peak to peak now. Of course this bottom line that's for my audio generator that stays the same. Of course I've got the volts per division it's different than the volts per I think here I'm displaying 5 volts per division and here I'm displaying 0.5 volts per is it 0.5 volts per division? Yes, around there. So here's my actual chart with the results. I made a total of nine measurements. One of them was off the scale. It uh, was 100,000 hertz. And my first measurement was it was at 1,000 hertz. And I decided, I think it was 18 volts peak to peak. That was going to be my reference. Of course, if any of the, the uh, voltages here at the different frequency test points would have been lower, I would have had to plot it on this uh, scale. Since it's in dB, I would have had to do some conversion. Anyways, it, it I didn't know the specs for this stereo amplifier because you really can't find any information about it on the web and it did test it out having a pretty flat response from 20 to 20,000 Hertz which is really to be expected and the response was way down at 100,000 Hertz but that really makes a difference because you really can't hear at least in my opinion you can't hear 100,000 Hertz uh, signal so far I did a power output test and I found out this unit didn't didn't put out too much but that was to be expected to looking at the transistors in the output stage.